If you don't see yourself reflected, how do you know that you belong in society? My name is Esther Fox. I'm the head of the Accentuate programme. We want to sort of challenge the underrepresentation of disabled people within museums, championing opportunities for disabled people to really not only take part, but actually lead cultural activities. Curating for Change is a career pathway programme. We have a range of fellows with different impairments from visual impairment to wheelchair users, people with dyspraxia, dyslexia, and we've supported that by ensuring that they have any extra equipment or any other support that they might need and not feel like anything is kind of a barrier to them within the workplace. I had a job interview and it went awfully. And then I came back and I went, what do I really want to do? I love curating, but I'm neurodivergent. Are there pathways for me? found Curating for Change and it said, you know, if you're interested in this and you want a career in this area, we're here to support you. Esther supported me massively. Public speaking, I was awful at it. I'd kind of write a speech and she said, it's fine, you know, this is a good speech. And it kind of closes those doors of self-doubt. Can work in a museum, do what I really want to do. Just very grateful for both the National Lottery and Esther wanting to make museums more accessible. Museums mainly think about visitors coming very much with a sort of sight-led approach. So it's very text heavy. So we've done things like explored audio description, BSL interpretation as well. And we're doing that with all the museum partners that we're working with. So today we're at Hastings Museum. Jack has an exhibition that's opening in about two weeks. And today we're going to be looking at some of the items that he's got ready to go into that exhibition. The upcoming exhibition is called Stored Out of Sight. The main focus is around objects that have been hidden in the store. So we've got things like Victorian photographs and then we've got something called a guinea pig badge which was designed when people came out of the Second World War and had really severe burns and they went to a burns hospital pioneering new plastic surgery. They were called the guinea pigs because it had never been done before. It is really making a difference to the fellows and what they gain out of the experience of being involved. It's developed my career massively. Not only have I worked with community groups and got that experience and developed confidence from that, but I've also worked with the collection, understand how to handle it. My skill set around coming into a museum has grown massively. Without the National Lottery funding, this project just wouldn't have happened. They funded Curating for Change and it's made such a massive difference just really want to keep building on the success of the programme. And we also want to sort of develop more relationships with new museums so that the impact of the programme can continue. This isn't just a win for me, this is a win for all of us that are trying to champion what disabled people can offer.